Welcome to Classic Klondike Solitaire, and thanks for joining us. Today, we are going to focus on how to manipulate a draw pile toward the end of a game. On the left, I've got the draw pile highlighted, and you'll see all the potential moves, or you can look at it at least and try to figure out what you're doing, as well as uh, I will be doing the same here. Now, this first move, we're going to be taking it, but I'm going to cycle through real quick. If you notice, there are two tens. Two black tens, that is. You typically always want to play the earliest of the two cards in a draw pile because it resets how the rest of the draw pile goes. So we're going to take the first move, which is pretty obvious and, and straightforward. And then we'll move the nine. We'll move this. It's going to open up a lot of uh, potential moves here, or moves here. So we can move the seven. We can move the six. Okay, we can move this 8 right here, and uh, there's a lot of moves. Now, one of the problems or one of the uh, traps we can fall into is, okay, I see this, let's move this, let's move this, let's move this. Not always the best decision, so we're going to go back up here a little bit. What you want, I mean, you can move these at some point, but uh, if you move these early you can fall into a trap. And the reason why, it'll become obvious in just a minute here. Let me move that card. The reason why is because there's other cards behind it that get reset after you go through. And if you move all these cards, let's say we move all three of these cards right here. Well, there's no reset. So this is what it's going to look like on the next uh, reset and, and so forth. And it's going to be, you know, we're not going to be able to solve this, more than likely. So what you want to do is, okay, we've got, we've got a five, we've got an eight. The question is, can we pull down some cards? And that means, should we make? Uh, we've already made one move, but should we make uh, move number two? So we're going to go forward to the next part of the draw pile right there. And there's a couple cards we'd like to get down. Uh, we can't play this 10. That's that's kind of a bottleneck for us. We can play the Black Queen. We could play the Six of Diamonds. So we'd like to be able to play both of these. So what we're going to do is only play that one card. So we're not going to play anything here. It's going to pull the Six of Diamonds down the next time we go through. So we're going to cycle through. The Six of Diamonds is pulled down. Now we can play that. And we're going to hold off on this five because we would like to play this uh, black queen. And this ten is uh, bottlenecking us. And we don't want these three cards to be our last three cards because we still can't play the ten. I and mean, we're not going to be able to play the ten, but we'd like to be able to at least maximize our chances here of getting a chance to solve this. So, okay, we go through again. Now the black queen is first. And because we cannot play that 10, we're going to go undo here. Because we can't play the 10, what we're going to do is just play the rest of these cards now. And uh, keep our fingers crossed that there's something there. Let's move the 7 and see what's under the column. Ooh, a jack. Well, uh, it's not the best card and it's not the worst card because it allows us to move this 10 right here. And more importantly, it's going to... Yeah, that's actually a very good card for us. Because now we got the Spread Queen we can bring down. And we're going to be able to get two of these cards out of the column. And more than likely, we'll be able to solve it here. So, Jack goes right here. Six of Clubs can go up top or below. I'm just going to put it up top. That's a very good card for us. We can move the King right there. And, uh, let's see. Six of Clubs should go right here in this case, so we can move this uh, red five of diamonds. And uh, there, we have uh, solved it. And of course, the main point I'm trying to make here is that in order to be able to solve some of these games at the end, you need to be a little bit creative. And of course, that is going to wrap this up. I am signing out. Thank you for watching, and good luck.